Hello Stampers, today I'm going to demonstrate how to make this little 3x3 purse box. This is the outside and I used a stamp set called Cheap Talk. And then when it opens up, this is what it looks like inside. So I'm going to demonstrate how to make this little box today. First thing you want to do is grab a piece of cardstock, cut it at four and a quarter by ten and a quarter. I chose a piece of brilliant blue, and then you're going to score it at four and a half. And then you're going to score it at five and three quarters. And this is the main part of your purse. So you'll have that. Then just fold it over on the scored lines. Take your bone folder, go over the scored line there. So you'll have that so far. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to cut three pieces of cardstock that is four by four and a quarter. And I did a piece of crushed cur curry, it's the color I chose. I'm just going to put some snail right on there. Like that. And then you're going to cut three pieces of cardstock at three and three quarters by four. And I did green galore. And what I did was I took one and ran it through the big shot with our Stampin' Up texture plate background, the Stampin' Up background one plates. And I just used the little polka dots there. And I only did one like that, but you are more than welcome to do it to all of them if you want. And then I just attach that there. The next thing you want to do is you're going to create these little pockets here. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do this. First, you want to cut three pieces of cardstock at four and three quarters by three and a quarter. And then I've already done this, but you're going to want to score it in one, a quarter, you're going to score it in a quarter inch, and then you're going to score it in at three quarters of an inch. And you're going to do this on this side then on that side, and then you're going to flip it and do the bottom too. You're going to go in a quarter inch and three quarters of an inch. So you want to leave one side unscored. Then to form the box, you're just going to fold on the scored lines here to get you an idea where to cut. Remember, you want to do three of these, and I did all three in Tempting Turquoise. And then what I did was I took my scissors, and I cut in to that second scored line, and I cut this little piece here off, because you don't need that. And then down here on the quarter inch scored tab, I just cut up to the three quarter inch tab there. And you're going to do that on both sides. So then you've created your little tab on the bottom and the tab on the side. Now to put that together, you will need some sticky strip. And what I did was I cut a little piece and put it right on this little tab here. And then I folded this up and in like that. So you have that. And I did that on another side too. Hope you can see it. It's pretty tiny. Just try to show it. So you have that so far. Now what you want to do is take another little piece of sticky strip. And you're going to just push this bottom piece up like that. So it's just going to fold right up like that. And you're going to apply some sticky strip there. And some sticky strip there. And then you're going to just pull that right off there, the backing. And then you're going to fold this over to form your little box. And you might have to shape it and pull on it a little bit to get it to form a nice little box. So you'll have that. So that's how you make your little pockets. And then to get it to stick to the cardstock, I use some sticky strip here.
And I just run it along the bottom and the two sides. And then you're just going to peel the backing right off. And then anywhere where you might have a little bit sticking over, just fold it right over. And then you're just going to place your little box right in the center towards the bottom. And then you're going to take the bone folder and run that in there over that little ledge and press, press that down good. So there you go, that's how you form your pocket. And then the next thing I did was to decorate it, I cut a little piece of brilliant blue cardstock. I cut this at two and a quarter by three and a quarter. You're just going to tape that right onto the front of your box. And then I made a little medallion out of the bird with the cheap tocks. Just use your circle punches to create that and put a dimensional on the back. And then I took the Just For You from Teeny Tiny Wishes, stamped that in brilliant blue and punched it out with the word punch to get it down to the small part. And you'll have that. Now I just made a tiny mistake so you want to make sure you don't do this. You're probably going to want to flip this over and put your piece on the insides before you put that outside pocket on so you're not crushing your outside pocket. So these were the pieces that you cut earlier and put together for the inside. And then what I did was to make the little handles I took the little one and a quarter inch circle punch and punched out four tempting turquoise circles and ran my ribbon through and then I just Stuck it on with sticky strips so it holds nice and good. And then you're going to do that for both sides here. And to line them up with both sides, you're just going to Use the front one as the guide. Kind of like that. And then we're going to come in and put our boxes in. And I just put it in the center. Towards the bottom again, took my bone folder, pressed it down in there to get it nice and straight. You're going to do both sides. An old trick I learned was I just laid this one right on top of the other one, lined it up. Oops, it didn't work this time, but it does work. Flip that around in there. And then to finish decorating it, I cut some more brilliant blue. I cut this at one and three quarters by two inches. Or I'm sorry, two and a quarter by three and a quarter. Sorry about that. And then just put that right on the front to decorate. And did the same on the other side. And there you go. You have now created your little three by three box that you can slide your cards and post and envelopes in. Oops, that was crooked. And there you go. Thank you.